Rachel and for today's Advent Reflection I'm going to be focusing on Mary's Advent story, her journey in the lead up to her son, Jesus Christ, being born. So we start in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The joy of Advent is surrounded by our journey with Mary because when she was young she continuously prayed for the coming of the Messiah for her to then go and find out that she would be a big part of the answer to these prayers, which is truly amazing. And in Luke chapter one, verses 30 to 32, it says, the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And though it raised anxieties and fears for her, she still said yes. She, like any one of us, would have been scared and would have doubted. But she trusted in God and knew that he had a plan for her and that was to be the mother of Jesus. And Mary is a model for us, a model on how we can be joyful this Advent. We may, like Mary, have anxieties and fears. We may feel lost and stuck in an unknown time. But it is God that is always there for us. It is God that we can trust and know that he has a plan for us. So I challenge you to think, how like Mary can we be joyful? And how can we influence that joy onto others? How can we make a difference this Advent? It could be as simple as smiling at someone as you walk past them, or giving some hot food and a drink to a homeless person, or even just checking in on a friend. So this Advent, keep Mary at the centre of our hearts as she supports and guides us. And so we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.